All right, I want to show you one more thing in Photoshop. If you happen to want to crop an image and you want to do it pretty easily, say you had this EPS file right here and you don't want to open up Illustrator. Uh, let's see this one. Let's say you had this image right here and you don't and you know it's high res enough if it's an EPS it's going to be plenty high res and you don't want to open up Illustrator and have to rechange a document setup and rechange everything. You know it's already high res and you just want to crop out the actual um, the space surrounding this red. So I'm just going to hit open with and open in Photoshop. This is a faster process than Illustrator. So I can open it and you can see it says it's 72. It's an EPS so I can change it to whatever I want. I just want it to be a little bit higher res initially. I'm going to change it. Go ahead and change it to RGB because that's what this uh, what a web ready photo needs to be set to which is RGB and everything else looks fine. So I'm going to hit OK. Now you can see I have the white area surrounding this image but if I go in and I use this magic wand tool I can select specific colors and I can use a tolerance and change the tolerance if I want to but it's just a red uh, flat red color I can just go click on all of the red and I'm hitting shift as I'm clicking it so you can see if I hit there if I hit the image with the shift it'll give me a plus so it just means it's gonna add that that other stuff first so I have this all the red area selected and I want to select the inverse which is shift command I so now I've selected all the area outside of that red you can see the bounding box around the whole document itself so I can just hit um, command X and it'll just cut that other area out so if I do an undo and I'll do it one more time so here's the image I've got the magic wand I've already used the magic wand selected all my red spaces I can do it a couple ways I can select the inverse here it is select inverse from this area on the menu which is shift command I so I'll click that and then I can just cut it out which is command X right because we do X cut and we'll just do command X and then we have the red image now in order to crop this area, I can use my crop tool and try to do this right around the image. But most likely you're going to have an issue trying to get that image perfect right around the edge. So, but I'd like to squeeze it in as much as we can because we want our website to run fast. So I'm just going to undo this by clicking on the marquee tool and it'll say don't crop. So, if I click on the actual space in the layer palette over here, if I click on the option, I'm sorry, the command key. If I click the command key, you can see that box comes around. And you click on it on the layer itself, and you can see that it it will select the area that you that's that's in this layer. So the area in the layer is of course the edges that we've just created. So if I want to crop that, I can just go to up to image and crop it right away. So it'll crop down and give me the exact area that's around surrounding the edge so we're just talking about creating photos image photos that are are condensed as much as they can be so that the website can work smoothly and quickly so once I do that I just hit shift option command s and this image is really big and again we wanted to make it 200 by 96 and it's it's constraining its proportions so we're fine if I click that then it would be skewed we want to make sure that we don't do save it as a JPEG because we want the background to be transparent so we want to use the PNG 24 transparency convert to R RGB that's fine then we hit save and then we just save it as if it's web ready so we put it in and that's where it would go we would save in that location but we already have the image so we're just gonna hit cancel I could save over it but I don't want to do that so 
All right, so that's how this works. Once you have the images ready, then you need to just code the images into your site and you will see them coming up on the web page. Chick-fil-A.